Yeah, let's get started. Um, whenever anyone's ready. John, was that the, uh, the best performance of the three, do you think? Yeah, uh, to be honest, I, I thought the first two tests were the conditions were, di were different. Today was a bit firmer and drier, and I thought um, I thought we played a bit more today, and that, that was the plan. I thought we, we did good today. I'm sure there'll be a full debrief to come in the days and weeks ahead, but what are your immediate thoughts on the last month? Maybe not just the, the three wins, but also the camp as well. Um, unbelievable. Unbelievably proud of what we've done, how we've done it. Um, not, you know, we've, we've had a few players pull out, so we could have turned out a stronger squad, so could they. Um, but you look at like Mikey and Harry, the number four and five, well, they were, not anymore. And you know, you've got Johnny and George and Lewis, so it's, you look at how they've behaved in the last three, well, two tests for Mikey and three for Harry, I think they've been outstanding, they've done really good things. And uh, they'll go from strength to strength. You'll probably get asked about Harry a lot, but is, it, is he now nailed his case to be George's partner for the foreseeable future? No, no, he's not. He's really good. Um, but he's um, obviously got things he needs to improve on. But I'm, I'm happy, really happy with what he's done. But I won't say he's nailed his case for my automatic uh, What, what impressed you most about his performance today? Um, I thought we stuck to our task well. You know, they, they had. Spelled in that first half, they had about five or six sets on our line, and, and they, they can play their athletic the big, and they were really from a great competition, the majority of them, and, and they tested us. But I thought the desire to defend and the detail um, in, in what we did was, was absolutely outstanding. <clears throat> Mikey and Harry will take a lot of the, the headlines, but do you feel as though the, the pool of players that you can call on? Overall, has grown over the last three weeks. Yeah, absolutely. Mike McMinkin was good. You know, I thought both our back rows were great. Ellie was good today. Um, there's lots of Tom Johnson, another one. We had a choice of in, in, with our wingers with Dom Young being out. And, you know, you look at what Tom's done. You know, stopping the two tries last week, and there's not many wingers could have done what he did. So I'm nothing but praise. I just said that to the players. Our staff have been great. But the main mention was the players, the way they've stuck at it. We've, we've had a bit of a different week and how we trained, which is different for everybody. But it's worked. They were ready, they were fresh in all three tests and we got the job done. What was going through your mind when you first pulled up here? So badly wanted to win this game. Um, no matter what, 2-0. Didn't matter to me. So to win in the manner we did, uh, I was desperate for 3-0, especially for Elliot Whitehead. Uh, obsessive. Players did well. Coach driver not so much. No. <laughs> no, he didn't have a good chat to him. <laughs> he pissed me off he did. It's <laughs> one job. Get us here. Yeah. <laughs> how happy are you with Harry Newman's reaction to what he said and how he played today? Yeah. Really happy. He's um, he's been under pump Harry and that I've um, We've, we've had some really, really honest chats, but the way he's responded, um, Leeds have got a good player there, really talented player, and he showed that today, some of the skip things he did, a couple of things were a bit off, but overall, his attitude, his behaviour in camp has been so good, he's a credit to, to Leeds Rhinos. Do you feel like you've been timed in any way for the World Cup semi defeat? No, no, definitely not. That that will always haunt me, no question about that, but it doesn't make it better, I'm just happy with one of the three tests. But that, how we played that game will always be there. Do you feel the team is improved from the World Cup? Yeah, yeah, yeah I do, I do. Uh, you know, we think the players, what, you've got Irby and Dom, and we've got some players what can come into that team as well. Um, we'll, we'll get we'll get stronger, we'll be stronger for some more next next year. And, you know, I'd love, I'd love to play three tests in Tonga. Nothing I'd give more to go over there and, and try to beat them in, in Tonga, you know. Just trying to get a trip to Tongari, that's all. Where does that be better? Yeah. Sean, you can see five tries in three games against Tongari. What would you have thought before the series? If you I'd never thought we could manage that. You, you look at the talent in their team in that 22 match score they announced, and I know all of them. You know, that was a tough ask. And, uh, and, and you look at the physical side, the big athletes, really good players. So to do that, the credit. What our players deserve is 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 untrue. The defensive effort across the board, wasn't it? Yeah. Do, do you know what? I just showed, I just showed a clip in the in the change room, and that was that last gasp effort when we won three 0 We won the game, 
and two players near the injured self stopping that try, that's England. Harry, you say that Harry's not nailed on, but the way he's going, he must be hard to beat for that, for that number seven spot. Yeah, he's going really, really well. I'm happy. But Mike is, you know, Louis Dodd's a good player, so we're in really, really good shape. And George is, you know, he's up there, one of the best in the world, so. If he once he gets a few games under Bell George, he'll, he'll kick on. So I'm 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 really really happy with, with what we're doing and how we're doing it. I think he kicked 22 points, which is close to what Tonga scored altogether. How massive that been for his goal kicking? Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's good. Um, you know, he's been working with Paul Grayson back at Wigan, and and uh, Lee Bree is why he's been in here. So he, he's, a, he's a good kid who listens, who wants to improve, and that's that's the DNA of him. I want him to play it and he, he shows it every day. How influential is uh, Lee Bray's been in the coaching staff? Yeah, really good. So is Lasty. Two, two really good coaches. Um, this, I'm not ready to finish yet. This three weeks have been, four, four weeks have been so enjoyable. And um, I'm back to walking my dogs tomorrow. I'd love to do another three weeks. But, um, you know, so Lasty, Lee Bray's have been absolutely outstanding. Really, really good. Smart coaches, very calm. I think the way I think, you know, simple is best and do the simple things well and uh, and then build on that. So we've had a great time, really, really good time. Just a word on Ben Carish on, he obviously was his first game of the test series today, coming in at centre, he's impressive. Yeah, I, I thought Ben Curry was fantastic. When you think he's an out and out back rower and to fit in there and do the things he did, he showed him what talent he's got. And, it, and when I asked him, uh, it's not perfect, asking the player, to play a totally out of position, and we've played there in the past. But to do that in a test match, and an important test match, which, um, because of Elliot, uh, was really, really important, and I wanted 3-0. Um, to perform the way he did, um, he's just a talented kid. Right? Sean, you mentioned George Williams there. Did he do exactly what he wanted of him today? Um, yeah, yeah. George is a good player, really good player, and he, he, he can do more than what he did today, but he's not played for a few weeks. And, um, you know, but he, he did some good things. He, you know, he gave us some zipping in training, um, and he, he, can, he can do better, George, no question about that, but he's, he's, he's one of the best in the game, so he gets some games under his belt, he'll be, he'll be better against some more next year. And that Harry Newman try at the end, how impressive was that, sort of? Off the cuff for a bit. Yeah, yeah, that was my favourite bit. And you know, that's Lee Brees, not me. Um, you know, the, the, the talent the players have got to execute on the ice stage in a test match against Tonga uh, was uh, an outstanding try. We've had comments about FMX players talking absolute rubbish about not entertaining and and they don't think about test matches, they don't think about the weather, and all of a sudden a bit dry, we score tries like that. It just beggars belief when I hear stupid comments from, from, from past players. Is there anything that you've, you would have liked to have got out of this series that you, that you haven't? No, there's not, there's not. We, we, we've got a really, really good, um, you have to take my word for this, but um, we've got a really, really good team spirit. Um, you know, what's now, we're all moving out, we all sit together and spend time together, and, the only way I can describe it is very much like a club team. The togetherness, the, 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 they all spend time with each other. It's not, there's no club uh, cliques. It's very much uh, different clubs mixed in well, and and that that's been the most satisfying thing for me. Uh, and I said this to the players again. Um, you know, you look, you you look and feel like a club team, and that's why we've we've um, we've had success today. Test series have been off the agenda for quite a while. How important is it to begin this rebuild of the test series? I think it's so important. Um, fair play to our commercial, the RFL, and the international board to get this these these games on. You know, we just need to get full league grounds, get a great atmosphere, and you know the, the memories of the World Cup last year. Turned out to play Greece at Sheffield with a massive with a big crowd on. You know, it's just it's just the best. You know. I'm, I've, 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 I've coached at club rugby level and super league level, and, and but this is another level. This is this is so enjoyable to get the trust of a lot of players from different clubs is just so enjoyable to me. Do you know what's next, John? 
apart from Samoa coming, what, what's mid season next year? What's on your agenda? Well, I'm opening a mid-season game, then Samoa, and then and then uh, I'm opening the National Series in Australia, I hope, and then the World Cup. So uh, there's obviously an appetite for it, and and the game needs it. The game needs it. You look at that game today, and it was an outstanding game. All, all the spectators were warm, and, and we're really, really happy. So, you know, a, a lot of people deserve a lot of credit. Is there anything you can see Samoa might bring to the table next year that Tonga haven't faced with? Well, they're coming confident after they stuffed us in the semi last year, so they'll be really confident. But we're sure that we can handle uh, bigger bodies. Um, you know, we can play. So, depending on the weather, you know, we'll challenge them with our, with our skill. But um, you know, that'll be a massive, massive side of their three games next year. But to enjoy these so, so much these three games and how much the players have bought into the way we wanted to defend and. Like it's totally different to what they do at the clubs, the way I want to defend and attack. And that's what Lee Brees and, and last year believed in that, delivered to the players. And the players have taken it on board and, and delivered them three wins. So to me, um, it's a massive feeling of job done. Uh, enjoy the victory. The next few days are going to be immense. How important has this weekend shown been for, for England Rugby League as a whole, the men obviously winning the Series 3-0, the women winning earlier, and then the wheelchair team playing tomorrow? Yeah, mass, massive, you know, and I, I know there'll be a big crowd there tomorrow, um, you know, so it's huge for us to get that 3-0 victory, the, 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 I watched the girls game beforehand, and you know, so it, it's great for English Rugby League, and, and the more we put tournaments on like this, you know, the spectators are going to get behind it and fill these grounds and make it a a real hostile atmosphere. Um, what's next for the league? Do you grow it across the country or do you keep it in Yorkshire and Lancashire? What do you think we should, we should do? Well, I love going to Catalan, or when I was coaching, I love going into London, so the more, I'm very, very proud of our game. I think we have the best, I, I genuinely mean this, I think we've got the best sport in the world and the more people will see it, the, the better. There's athletes in our game, what, um, no other sport can do what our, what our athletes do to go to go 20, 30 minutes with no errors and no mistakes, no penalties, and, and, and they're going repeated efforts and they're whacking each other and they're, they're just unbelievable athletes. There's not there's no sport. I mean NFL and Aussie rules. No sport can do what we do. We just don't have enough people. That feels like a good point to sign up for sure, I think. And then have you got league. something on, Adam? What? Have you got Harry something on? Oh, series. Sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, we've got a series. Harry Smith here as well. <clears throat> Which one? I, I don't know. Am I up there? Yeah. Good, Sean. I'm done. Yeah. Is this your work? I'm done, Paul. Thank you very much. <clears throat> <clears throat>